Where do USDA choice cuts, gourmet condiments, and family tradition come together to produce fine food? Well, Bill Camp's Meat Market in Northwest Oklahoma City. We specialize in quality and service. That's what we're all about. Camp's has been the first name in meat in Oklahoma City for almost 100 years. Bill Jr. has been cutting fine chops for Oklahomans for over 30. His father, 50 years. His father, 70 years. Started at 25th in Classen, but now at 73rd in Western Camps is all about a better cut. All I can say, I can't say, you know, ours are 100% better. I can say our customers say they're better, which is better. I mean, of course I'm gonna tell you ours are, are better if you just ask me right out, but our customers say they're better. We seek out the best quality beef we can find uh, at a reasonable price. Um, we use uh, USDA Choice Certified Angus that comes to us with about, oh, 21 to 27 days of age on it, which we think is appropriate and important. And uh, again, our customers say it's fantastic. That's all, that's all I need to know. This is a piece of inside ram, which comes from the hind legs, and it's a, it makes a good uh, roast. Uh, that is what we primarily cut it for. And what you're doing there, that's, that's fat. People don't like to look at that anymore, so we cut it off and throw it away. Now we've got that kind of trimmed up like we want it to be. So now we're gonna do something to it that is a little bit of a lost art is tying this with string. This is a special butcher's twine that is made mostly from cotton and it stands up to intense heat. Uh, even uh, things like, uh, say, a tenderloin that you would tie and put on the grill, the string will stand up to the heat of a grill. It's just amazing stuff. And this knot I'm putting on here is something that I was taught when I was a kid in the meat industry. It's called a locking slip knot. You can tie it like that, pull it down real tight, and cinch it, and it stays. That is the beauty of what this does. And what it does, it just, it, number one, I think it looks pretty. And number two, it firms the meat up when it cooks so that it doesn't take on a, uh, uh, a shape that doesn't work well for uh, the carving stage. Not just meats, cheeses, spreads, breads, and the world famous ham loaf. Yeah, ham loaf is something different. That's, uh, it, it's not really uh, completely unique. You can get it elsewhere. Uh, but uh, I don't know that you can uh, get exactly the kind that we make. And we've been making that for a long time. We just sell the heck out of it. It's really a good product. Chicken salad, ham spread, cheese spread. Uh, people come from far and wide to get that stuff, uh, especially the chicken salad and the ham spread. Uh, we have sold millions of pounds of that stuff since 1910. Not just take home, ready to eat food as well. Pizza and a Windy City Sausage? Okay, what we're doing today is uh, our Tuesday special is a Chicago style hot dog. We start with a bun. A bun is a very good thing to have with a hot dog, although we had some people getting an Atkins version today. Um, plain old yellow mustard. Ooh yeah, love that sound. All right, all right, now the dog itself. We sell these dogs out of the meat case as well. Um, this is called a Chai Town Frank, all beef skinless, four ounces, very satisfying, very filling. Now to that, we add the Chicago Barrage of Accoutrement, pickle spear, cucumber, fresh pickle, opposite sides. Remember that, we'll come back to that later. Tomato, fresh with pickled, remember that. Sport peppers, unique to the Chicago hot dog. Again, fresh with pickle, remember that. The uh, Chicago relish, it is a vibrant green. It's slightly sweeter than, uh, than uh, you might be expect to have around here. Around here we call it uh, nuclear relish, I believe there. They call it nuclear relish, I don't know why. So there we go, some of that. Some diced onion. And then secret ingredient. Secret ingredient, you got that? That is celery salt. I made the shaker myself because they keep getting stolen by members of our staff. Then to end it all up, keep it in the diaper because otherwise it's gonna be all over that nice suit you're wearing, my friend. You fold this up, final ingredient, very important. Frilly pick, you might say why is the frilly pick important? 
The frills keep the paper from coming off the end. There you have it, Chicago-style hot dog a la Bill Camp's Meat Market. Thank you. Meat, pork, chicken, but is there fish, seafood? <laughs> we don't serve it, but we have it. I've got an aquarium over there. That's, uh, uh, that's our, the extent of our fish collection, but they're not for sale. They're strictly for uh, viewing only. So for aged beef and over 100 years of family tradition, Camp's Meat Market in Northwest Oklahoma City. For Oklavision, I'm Brett Skarkey.